Welcome to Life Bites Mindful Mondays. I'm life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And in today's grounding session, we're gonna help you get centered, cleared, and connected. Let's get started. From the base of your spine down to the center of the earth, we're going to create a grounding cord that's very strong and nurturing and fortifying. And we're gonna take the roots of that grounding cord and really anchor ourselves to mother earth, to ourselves, to our essence, to who we are. And let's start to release everything that no longer serves us. Letting go of the past. Take a nice, big, deep breath. Letting go of the future. Take a nice, big, deep breath. And let's say hello to the here and now, present time. And now about two feet out, we're gonna create a circle of light. And in that circle of light is a circle of yellow roses. And those yellow roses represent your true sunshine spirit. It's the place where you shine, that you sparkle. It is the I am in the energy as we are conquering our fears with courage. A circle of pink roses that represent love and compassion for yourself as well as the outside world. And a circle of red divine roses that represent protection. Think of yourself as an Aries warrior, being able to stand in your power divinely protected. Take another nice big deep breath. Come up to the center of your head, right between the brow, which is your sixth chakra. And about two feet out, you're going to create a movie screen. Say hello to your life today, this week. Say hello to your personal power. You have the ability to do anything. You have the ability to overcome. So say hello to your challenges. Let's take an opportunity to stand in that power, to conquer your fears, give you courage to take on any challenge in your life. Now let's say hello to your blessings, the beautiful blessings of life the lushness of life, the beautiful lushness of life. And let us check in. Physically, just scan your body and ask yourself, how do I feel physically? Check in with yourself. 
they'll try to change it. We're empowering our bodies. We're powering up and becoming aware of where we need to fortify our energies. And give your body a golden light for any disease or discomfort. Green energy for healing and pink energy for self-love. Take some time and give your whole body the gold light, the green energy, and the pink energy as we are powering up our physical bodies to be strong, to be bold, to be powerful, to be our best selves physically. Say to yourself, health, vitality, strength, and flow. I am healthy, strong, vital, filled with vitality, and my whole entire body is in flow. Take a nice, big, deep breath. to the center of your head. Create a golden light that's bright and keeps getting brighter and bigger, flushing out any fogginess, any frenetic energy. Any incoherence. You're clearing the slate of your mind. And in this powerful energy, of this transformative time and spring, we are determined powerful, strong, clear, focused, tenacious. We are empowering our mind with courage to conquer any of our fears or doubts. say to your mental energies, I am alert, receptive, productive, powerful, and present. Take a nice big deep breath all the way up to your crown chakra and all the way back down to the bottom of your belly and into your heart space. Let's open up your energy centers, powering them up to work for you. Take a nice big deep breath all the way up to your crown chakra and all the way back down to the bottom of your belly and into your heart space. Say hello to your heart. Say hello to your feelings. Say hello to your energetic intentions. And just check in with your feelings right now and ask yourself, how do I feel emotionally? Keep it simple, just become aware.
And now let's set our intentions, our emotional, energetic intentions for how we'd like to feel this week. Feel into any fears you have, any doubts that are lingering, and any courage you may need to take your next step. I'll give you three, and you can add on so that you can feel the I am powerful, courageous, determined in conquering any fear you may have. I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and one more time. I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and Really energetically embrace your intentions this week as we take a nice big deep breath. Come up to your crown chakra right above the head and let's say hello to your divine, more spiritual self. And just like little light sockets, feel yourself plugging in yourself, to your essence, to the divine, to your loved ones, to the world, and say to yourself, I am connected, I am connected. And now I'd like you to ask your higher self for your soul knows where it needs to go. Let's open up to divine trust as we open for support and guidance in the area of courage and conquering your fears. And one of the areas that all of us need to do is to trust in the divine. Trust that our energy and our life is in flow. Trust that even if we feel that we're taking the wrong step or nothing is happening, all in divine timing, and we can relax and surrender to the moment. Take a nice, big, deep breath. Put your hand on your heart and let's think and feel three things that you are grateful for and really feel them in your heart.
and let's send some love to somebody who may need it. Make sure to send some love to yourself. And let's bring down a beautiful golden sun of light coming down through the heavens, coming down through that crown chakra, coming into your sixth chakra. You're igniting your intuition this week, your sense of knowingness, moving down into your throat chakra, the I am, the self-expression. Moving down into your heart, feel that golden light with the green and pink energies, filling you up with love, support, nurturing, and your energetic intention. As it moves down through your solar plexus, igniting the fire in your belly to be able to manifest your intentions. Moving down into your second chakra, the I create energy, that beautiful primal place within yourself as it moves back down to your root chakra, the base of your spine, love of self, love of self. That golden light coming down through your legs, feeling its warmth, creating the strength and flexibility. Down through your calves and into your feet. Wiggle your toes, say hello to your fun fairies and allow that energy to drop down into Mother Earth saying to yourself, all is well. Life is good. And everything is moving forward exactly as it should be. Take a nice big deep breath. Hmm. Release and open your eyes. Now that you are grounded, cleared, and connected, let's move on to this week's message and life theme. So in the Course of Miracles, there is basically two emotions, love and fear. And if you're in love, it's impossible to be in fear. And so when we get into our fears and our doubts, we're usually in the past or the future. And if we stay present to what is, all is well. Life is good. Because in this moment, Everything is good. But what will happen is we replace the present with the future or the past. And then we become anxious and scared to take a chance. So when you think about your younger self, your childhood self, you didn't walk around with those fears. But decades on this earth 
shit happens, we start to doubt ourselves. We start to think, well, maybe I just don't have it. Maybe it's not for me. I've tried and it's just, there's no door opening. But is that the truth? Or is that just your fear talking? So I want you to open up this week to your fear. Make friends with your fear. It's just there to try to protect you. But the question is, what is it really protecting you from? Is it a true fear? Going down an alley in New York City in the wrong part of town as a female alone, that will bring up fear, rightfully so. Being on the top of a mountain looking at a cliff, wondering how am I going to get down, that's a fear, rightfully so. So fears are warning signs. But what we've done in the society is we've made them a way of life. So I'm going to go back to the original message of The Course of Miracles. Love or fear? What energy are you going to tune into? If you tune in to the media, you'll tune into fear. If you tune in to your neighbors or friends or family members talking, you might tune in to fear. But you don't have to. Beautiful Bible verse. Be in the world, but not of it. What is your energy leading with this week? Love or fear? The courage you need is to be in the energy of love. That's how you conquer fear. It's not in, yeah, I'm going to conquer my fear. Determination is wonderful. But the courage you need is to stay in your loving. The courage you need is to stay in your loving. So I'd like you to look at a fear you have. And this is a beautiful day to get real with yourself. It's a powerful time in the universe, harnessing the power to clear your fears and doubts. So write down a fear or have it come to mind. And how are you going to conquer it? One, you're going to be in your loving. And then the question is, in your action step, is what would love do? I hope you've enjoyed this week's Mindful Mondays. Be sure to join us this Friday for another episode of Life Bites as we get you inspired in the areas of life, business, and media. I'm your host, life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And remember, until next time, sometimes in order to speed up, you've got to learn how to slow down.